So the Rock of Duna Mace is a, a ruined castle just outside of Port Leash, about maybe five or ten minute drive from the town. We um, actually drove to Port Leash, uh, had dinner, and uh, afterwards came back because when we passed it on the road, the kids saw it, thought it looked a lot like uh, Amon Sul from Weathertop from Lord of the Rings, and uh, we're mad to get up and have a look. So we said we'd call back after dinner. L literally, was only a 10 minute drive to spin back out. Um, there's a bit of parking just at the bottom um, outside the church, but not an awful lot. So if it's busy, it'd be difficult to get parking, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. um, we came out that evening, there was only one or two other cars there. Um, which, yeah, it's, it's a pretty impressive ruin. It's perched atop a, kind of a, a, an outcrop, I suppose, and you, there's some really good views around the surrounding area. Um, and there's ruined walls the whole way up. You enter through a couple of different gateways and archways, and there's a keep on top. Uh, there's a lot to explore, an awful lot to explore. Um, quite a short walk, but the kids loved it because of the, the variation in trail, the climbing and clambering over the rocks, climbing up around the walls, and it's really, really nice. Really interesting place to, to get up to. I'm sure there's a load of history to it. I have to be honest and say we don't know much of it, so you'll need to check that out on Google if you want, but uh, it's, um, it's a very impressive site to visit, whether you know the history or not. I suppose it was even less about the walk um, because the kids enjoyed just kind of climbing around it and kind of um, just enjoying the area they were in I suppose um, kind of jumping from rock to rock and everything so it wasn't just about kind of like the start of a walk to the end of a walk it was no it's just exploring exploring yeah um, and to the point really that I asked could we come back uh, and we did we visited again a couple of days later on our way home yeah. um, they were adamant they wanted to go back so um, kids really enjoy it clearly yeah. um, in terms of the trails, it's not wheelchair accessible at all. No, um, I say even from the get-go, from the car park up, there's sort of steps yeah. from the car park. Um, there's a steep up, section kind of steps yeah. right at the very beginning. Right at the very beginning. And then I suppose the whole way up along, it's steep enough, I suppose, kind of walking well, along yeah. there. It's up and down. It's a gravel track. It's a good gravel track, but the gravel is loose. And there's a couple of sections in particular, one going through, I think it's the second archway, possibly yeah. the main gate. It's quite steep. So coming down in particular, just be aware the kids could slip or anyone could slip, but just to be aware that that for most part it's the paths are level enough they're up and down but there are one or two steep Close sections to the to top, they're quite level enough and yeah. um, we do have parts of the the trail kind of or the walkway up close enough to the the castle um, with kind of rocks out yeah. in the middle of them whatever so you just have fallen to be, walls and yeah, ruined walls you just have and to watch where you're walking you do just really. need to be aware of that and there are one or two spots that are quite sketchy with especially with litleys um, if you get too close to the edge and there's a barrier on one section but a couple places they don't have a barrier and there's a there are a couple of big drop offs because it's on such a prominent peak mm -hmm. so just to be aware of that as well to keep keep close eye on, on the, the kids the litleys yeah. especially but it's definitely worth a visit and our kids uh, the older really kids well I think it. Saoirse did as well she even did yeah. They all enjoyed it, and like I said, the, the two uh, older ones wanted to come back, so we did. <laughs> so the the video you'll see two different uh, two different days worth of of uh, footage. <laughs> one we got caught in the rain. <laughs> yes, one we got caught in the rain. <laughs> so um, yeah, please do definitely visit if you're in the Port Leash area. It's well worth a stop. So did you enjoy the walk? Yes. Yeah. You did? Loved it. 
What would you rate it 1 out of 10? Oh, 10. Gotta be. <laughs> what was your favourite part, Noah? My favourite part was kind of climbing. It was really fun. Yeah? Mm. And yours, Fia? Well, climbing and how it feels like an adventure. It reminds me so much of The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. Yeah? In parts, like, um, there's, like, this broken place, like, where you could, like, climb up. And then it, it's a high drop. And, like... It reminded me of like a part in Lord of the Rings that if they were to choose f from life and that they would jump to survive. Very good. So he's enjoyed it anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you just come back? Yes. yes. Yeah. Probably a hundred times. So anybody visiting Portly should definitely come to the Rock of oh, Dunamis. I, think, I yeah. think so. Not even if they were in Portly. Well, if they were anywhere in this country. <laughs> I'd, I'd say they would come here anyway. Really and nice. I'd say people from other countries should even come. They should. Absolutely. So do you want to say goodbye then? Yeah. yeah. Bye. Bye and thank you for watching, for watching. this video and, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.